So, for those who don't know, I am running a PC in my uh, Civic. Um, um, this is the front end. Um, if you haven't used or heard of Centrifuge, and you want a PC in your car with a lot of options and a huge community, you can't go wrong. I cannot recommend this software enough. There's a couple of competitors. Um, um, Road Rudder seems to be the biggest runner-up. Um, this community is nearly as large. I don't think the uh, software is nearly as refined, but it definitely has as much case customability. Um, I suppose that's a preference call at that point. Um, Road Rudder seems to be more chiseled in its user experience, whereas um, Centrifuge seems to be more elegant, and that's probably my best description. Um, as you can see here in my test rig, it's just a 3D printed test rig that I use for inside, that way I'm not outside programming in the car all the time, that what I'm currently working on is a reiteration of an app that's developed for this called, uh, <clears throat> uh, it's called Relay Board. Um, I'm kind of redesigning it for an HVAC system. I've, I currently got an HVAC system in my car, but it looks just pretty much default. The one I'm building right now is actually on my big system, which this thing here is sitting on top of. This screen here is running off a highly modified um, Atom notebook, which you can kind of see part of down there on the floor. So, long story short of it is... Um, these are designed to use the uh, K5508, or excuse me, K8805 boards, which are proprietary, but, you know me, I don't like prefab. I've got it running an Arduino, an Arduino Mega. In fact, currently I've only got it hooked up to eight pins, uh, but there's near limitless possibilities as this board here is about 13 bucks online, and I have 53 53 input outputs. So without further ado, oh, well, apparently I gotta set it up first. I can show you that, I guess. So all you really gotta do is put a, some pretty fairly simple code on the uh, Arduino to receive the commands. Set it for COM6, which automatically detects what port it's on. Save. And you only have to do this when you plug it in. I, I had it unplugged before. That's the reason why I had to go in and retell it what COM port it was on. Now we're live. Okay, so when I hit a switch, things happen. As you can see, the lights are lighting up. Um, I have the first one for a counted delay, so when I activate it, I'll turn the rest of these off. I know this is blurry. I'm doing it on a hand cam. I think you can get the idea that when I turn this thing on, it only stay on for a few seconds, then I'm actually turn back off. Um, you can do momentary switches, you can do timed switches, you can do clicked on-off switch or latching on-off switches, and when it's all said and done, I will have sliders too. So, do from 0 to 155, that way I can pretty much do PWM on this machine. Um, the code for this is actually really, really simple, because it's basically just receiving, there's no... Uh, response back stuff yet um, that may be worked on in the future since I'm working on just an HVAC I'm not doing temperature control they're automatic I just basically want a nice fancy UI um, where is that the code for the Arduino is like 10 lines long that's it that's the code for the Arduino it's simple the uh, Top eight there, 
pin through to pin 9, it's just declaring them all as outputs. The serial begins, and then the loop just looks for the three commands that are coming. The first one is just FF to say to, it's just the start of the sequence. The second one is what pin it's on, or B in this case. And the third one is the state. One for an on, zero for an off. That's it. And you can't really get simpler than that. Um, so, yeah. Anyone who's interested or maybe want to collaborate, let me know. That centrifuge controlling an Arduino. Anybody who's an avid Arduino user knows what you can do with an Arduino, and now you have a nice customizable front end with a huge community base. So, peace.